My name is Sam Wells. I'm from Durham Geo Slope Indicator. Today we're going to be talking about the two-inch two uh, series of SRX remediation pumps. We have three models. The TR977. It's a bottom load only pump. We have a TR978. It's a top loading uh, long body recovery pump, typically for recovering floating hydrocarbons. We also have a TR980, and it's a short body or shorter overall length of the top load uh, 978. Uh, the reason why it's shorter is to get the maximum drawdown in your recovery well. These, this pump line can operate in two inch and larger uh, ID wells. And what we're going to be showing today is how to unpack your pump and do a pre-installation check uh, to make sure that the pump hasn't been damaged and shipped. What we're going to do when we check this pump will be the same thing that you would do if you had a pump malfunction later on during your operation of the pump. We'll talk about some of those things that you want to look for uh, as we disassemble and reassemble the pump. The packaging is a telescoping box. It's two pieces. You'll need to remove the packing tape and the four uh, <clears throat> staples that hold the two pieces together. You want to save your, your box and packing. It was designed just for this pump. And if you need to ship this unit back to us, it's good to keep have this packing. find in the box with the pump the quick start manual. A lot of the things that we're fixing to discuss are covered in this manual. You will see that there's a tag on this pump, the, on, the, on the plastic bag that holds the pump, is that there's packing material inside the pump that's used to protect the pump internals from damage during shipment. They have to be removed or the pump will not work. To access the packing, you'll need to remove the screen and two bolts. You can use an open-end wrench, a 5 sixteenths or a 5 sixteenths nut driver, which I'm using. You remove the bottom screw that holds the screen on. The bottom intake uh, models do not have a bottom intake screen, so this step you'll omit. omit. There's two screws that hold this bottom check valve seat in or the plug bottom on the top intake pumps. Unscrew these screws and put them aside. When you remove either the bottom seat on this pump or the plug on the top loading pumps, uh, you'll, on this pump you'll see a bottom, a check valve that's a in uh, one inch diameter ball. You don't want to lose that, just keep it to the side. We're going to remove the pump body and set it to the side. These are the two pieces of foam packing that need to be removed that I have my fingers on. They're broke, they're cut, slit, so they're very easy to just take off. Here again, keep these for further use if you need to ship it back to us. It will prevent damage due to this float bouncing back and forth during shipping. Okay, now that we have the packing off, we want to inspect the internal workings of the pump. Bring the, the pump, the float, all the way up to where our linkage, the magnet has pulled this linkage up to the head. It's a control arm assembly here. Now gently bring your float down to the bottom stop and with the control rod and the discharge tube being parallel to the surface of the 
this table. We're going to slowly raise the head of the pump. When it gets to around 10 or 11 o'clock, the magnet has been pulled off of this magnet, <clears throat> the cover over this magnet that's inside the head. That means that the pump weight, the float weight, is enough to, to shut the air supply off to the pump. If you have access to air compressed air, which you will need to run the pump, at this time you want to supply air to the air cartridge. You have a quarter inch OD tube, and this is a push to connect to quarter inch OD fitting. So all you do is make sure your tube is cut square and slide it in until you feel it bottom out. Turn your air supply on. With the pump, with the air supply on, bring your float up toward the pump head and when it gets close, when it starts pushing on the control rod, stop. The magnet will pull the lever arm to the pump head. You will then hear air exiting the exhaust the air valve. Bring the float back down to the bottom stop and when it stops on this guide right here, the air will stop uh, coming into the pump body. We'll do this one more time. When it comes up, the magnet will pull the valve closed. The air is entering the pump. When the float comes down and touches the bottom, it pulls the magnets apart and the air is cut off to the, to the inside the pump.